Hey, what's good everyone? You already know what it is. It's your boy the 12th man giving you guys another Destiny video today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. In today's Destiny video, I'm going to be giving you guys my first episode of my Destiny Weapon of Choice series. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be doing a gun review on a certain gun. I'm going to go over its perks, go over its stats, and then I'm going to take it into the Crucible and do a live commentary and let you guys know what I think about the gun and then at the end of the video I am going to put up two guns on the screen and I want you guys the viewers to vote in the comment section what gun I should do next and make sure you put in the hashtag destiny WOC when you do it so that's basically it about explaining the series so let's go ahead and get into the first gun that I'm going to be doing a review on so guys in the first episode of this series I'm going to be doing a review on the Dead Orbit Legendary Scout Rifle known as the Hung Jury SR4. It is a Dead Orbit Legendary Scout Rifle that you can get from either drops in Heroic Strikes or Daily Stories or you can buy it from the Dead Orbit vendor for 150 Legendary Marks and you also have to be rank 3 in Dead Orbit. So yeah, those are the two ways you can get this weapon. It's probably one of if not the best Legendary Scout Rifles in Destiny. And a lot of people like using this weapon, they mainly like to use it for PvE because of its perks, but it's also not that bad of a gun in PvP as well. And I also want to mention that this was the first legendary weapon that I got from Destiny when the Taken King first came out. I got it from a drop during the story, however I ended up dismantling that one because I wanted the one from the vendor because the vendor hung jury has a really good role on it and I'm going to go through the perks right now. So let's start with the sights. The sights are the candle IS2 which is basically a red dot, you have the torch HS2 and then you have the signal MS5. Now I mainly roll with the candle and the torch because they fit my playstyle more. I like to kill things at short to mid range. If you like shooting at long ranges then I would use the signal MS5. The next perk is triple tap which means if you rapidly land precision shots one round to the magazine will return to the gun. The next two perks are field scout and hand laid stock. Field Scout extends the magazine and hand laid stock increases the stability but it reduces the range. And then the final two perks on the Hung Jury are Firefly and Underdog. Now Firefly is a really good perk to have especially in PvE. What Firefly is is that if you land precision kills with this weapon it will cause the targets to explode. This is really helpful in PvE especially against Thrall because if you land precision shots against Thrall they will explode and you can take them out a lot easier. Underdog is basically you know some perk that I really don't use a lot. <laughs> um, this weapon gains a boost to range and handling when health is low. That's what the underdog perk does. I really don't use it that much. But yeah that's basically the perks on this scout rifle. Like I said really good roll. I really do lo love the scout rifle in PvE. This is my main go to scout rifle when it comes to PvE. Now let's talk about this weapon in terms of PvP. Now I do think the Hung Jury is a good PvP weapon as well, but I believe that there are probably other scout rifles out there that can outshine the Hung Jury. For an example, the Suros DIS-43. I just got that scout rifle and to be honest, that is my main go-to PvP scout rifle because it has more impact. The fire rate's a lot slower, but it has more impact and it's a lot more easier to kill people with. But with that being said, the Hung Jury is still a very good PvP weapon. It does 41 to the body, 61 to the head, so I say about 3 or 4 body shots, maybe 3 body shots and one headshot can kill someone easily in an instant. So yeah, it's still a very good PvP weapon and you may even want to use it for Trials of Osiris since it returned this week. But I think that this scout rifle is more of a PvE type gun than a PvP type gun because a lot of people like to use this gun in raids and nightfalls and daily heroics. So yeah, Hung Jury is a good PvP gun 
but I think it really shines in PvE. And that's mainly because of Firefly and Field Scout. You get more ammo and you can, you know, kill Thrall and Hive easily with that Firefly perk. But yeah, Hung Jury, in my opinion, is probably the best legendary scout rifle that you can buy right now. It's not the best in the game, but it is the best one that you can buy. A lot of people might argue and say that the last extremity is better. But no, I think the Hung Jury is the best scout rifle that you can buy in destiny right now and i like the way it looks i like the way it sounds it's just a really good weapon i'll mainly use it for pve but it also does well in pvp as well so now that i've said all of that i am now going to transition into the second part of this video basically in the second part it will be a live commentary of me using the hung jury scout rifle and I'm going to show you guys what it can do in PvP and I want to let you guys know whether or not if you think you should buy this weapon. Now, like I said earlier at the end of the video, I will post two guns on screen and you guys vote which of those two guns I will do a review on next. However, with that being said, the next review that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review on the Suros DIS-43, which is a scout rifle that I got from Arms Day and I just got it, I really wanted that weapon and I wanted to do a review on it when I got it. So I will be doing that next. However, whatever gun you vote for, that will be the third review that I will do in this series. So yeah, I just wanna go ahead and get that all out of the way. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully you will enjoy the live commentary. All right, guys, this is going to be part two of my first ever Destiny weapon of choice video. In this part of the video, I'm going to be doing a live commentary in the Crucible using the Dead Orbit Scout Rifle known as the Hung Jury SR4. So let's go over the perks one more time. These are the perks that I'm going to be using in this Crucible match. I'll be using the Candle Sights with Triple Tap, Hand Laid Stock, and Firefly. Candle Sights is basically kind of like a red dot sight. Triple Tap is when if you land precision shots, um, a one round to the magazine will return. Um, hand laid stock increases the stability, reduces the range, and then Firefly precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. So those are the those are the perks I'm running with, and of course that's my secondary party crasher and Suro's JLB. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And they finally throw me into a game that has not started yet. So hopefully, hopefully I do well. And this is going to be a straight up live commentary. Um, this isn't going to be a cut comp. So I'm going old school with this. Yeah, I, I was really, I was really debating whether or not I should have made this like cut commentary style. But I said, fuck it. I'll just go old school with it. I haven't made a live commentary like this in a long time. How did he not die from that? Oh my god, if I kill this nigga. No, I'm gonna die. Where did he come from? Whatever. So yeah, it, bear with me, okay? <laughs> I haven't made a video like this in probably two years. Wow, my aim is off. As you can see, it does 61 to the head. And there's a guy literally right under me. Or right around me. Ooh. Hi, how you doing? Ooh, I missed. There you go. So far, so good. Oh, shit. Show your face. Damn. So yeah, bear with me. Also, I'm using Control Freaks. Yeah, I, I got a pair of Control Freaks. Um, oh, shit. Please kill him. What the fuck, man? How can people one, sh one hit kill me with incendiary grenades and I can't? Fucking bullshit, man. Oh, of course. He's gonna come out there. Oh, shit. Oh, we got everywhere. I didn't know. I looked like someone was right next to me, too. I'm in third place. Let's try to get this W.
Yeah, I'm sorry. You got to bear with me on this one, man. I haven't made a live commentary like this in such a long time. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Oh, he's going to die. He is going to die out. If he does not die out, thank you. I got to scratch my nose. Still killed him. Let's go. Really me. That's an interesting name. Show your face. Show your fucking face. Bitch ass nigga. Won't even show your face, little cunt. Yeah, running away. Running away. Shade stepping in everything. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, boy. This party crash was beast. I wish I had a better roll, though, but I, I still use it. Oh, shit. I didn't know we had heavy ammo. At least I didn't hear it. Damn, I gotta scratch my nose, fam. Damn it, where'd he come from? Boy, oh boy. I'm doing well with these control freaks, though. Let me guess, he's camping. I will. Show yourself. Damn, I had him at one fuck. I had him at one fucking bar or whatever. I had him at a sliver. Jesus Christ, man. Golden Gun is weak. I can't kill anything with this with this thing. Can't kill a Sun Singer, can't kill a fucking Hammer of Soul. Jesus. He still has it. No, he doesn't. Come on. Oh, yep, of course. While I'm trying to kill someone, someone else comes up behind me. This is why I hate Rumble. I hate Rumble with a passion. This, this, this is my second least favorite game mode in the game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Running up on me with invective, of course, because you're a fucking slut. I'm really angry. I don't know why. Sit down. Let me reload. Dude, stop it. Stop it. You're not going to win. Yeet! Oh, it killed him. Oh, shit. What was that? Where the hell did he come from? Yeah, give me that kill. I swear to God, if I don't kill him, thank you. I still died, but I don't give a fuck. Oh my God! Oh fuck! I hate that super man. God, I hate that thing. Hammer or spam. Yeet! Ha 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 ha! Bitch. Bruh. That was such a bullshit game, bruh. Okay, so I had to edit something out because I kept messing up. But, anyways, you saw how good the Hung Jury was in Crucible. It is a very good scout rifle, and I do recommend it. If you have the legendary marks and if you are Dead Orbit Rank 3, then please get the scout rifle because it's literally one of the best scout rifles in the game. So yeah, I recommend the Hung Jury. So now, before I end the video, I do want to tell you guys which guns I want you to vote for. Whatever wins, whatever gun wins, that will be the third 
WOC video that I will do. The next WOC video will be on this gun right here, the Soros DIS-43. It is a scout rifle and it's a really good scout rifle in Crucible and I will be doing a review on it in the next WOC video. But I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the next two guns that I want you to vote for. So the two guns that I want you to vote for are the Nerwin's Mercy, which is the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle, and the Zalo Supercell, the exotic auto rifle, and the only primary in the Taken King that has an elemental burn. So, those are the two guns, the Nerwin's Mercy and the Zalo Supercell. Uh, vote which one you want me to do in the comment section below, and make sure you put in the hashtag DestinyWOC that will be on screen. So, that's basically it with this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This does mean a lot to me. Uh, let's try to get this video up to 20 likes for the first episode of the series. That would be highly appreciated. Uh, remember to vote for either the Nerwin's Mercy or Zalo Supercell in the comment section below. Make sure you put in the hashtag DestinyWOC. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Subscribe for more Destiny videos and videos and other games, and I'll catch all of you guys on the flip. Thanks for watching. Peace.